Dear students, today we are going to discuss the extensions of two variable linear regression model. There are some cases uh, where uh, we represent the uh, regression model with uh, certain types of extensions. So here we are discussing, today we are discussing the uh, case of regression through the origin. So usually when we are dealing with a two variable linear regression model, we represent a two variable linear equation model as yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui. This is the usual two variable linear regression model. Then there are some situations where the population regression function takes the form like yi is equal to beta 2 xi plus ui. So, these type of equations or regression model are termed as regression through the origin. So, when we are uh, looking upon this equation, we can see that this beta 1 or the intercepted term is absent here. So, there is no intercepted term or our intercept term is 0. So, in such cases, we represent such equations as regression through the origin model. So, when we are dealing with this normal two variable linear regression model, our regression line will be like this. So, this will be the beta 1. This will be the beta 1 value. But when we come to regression through origin, that means our regression line passes through the origin. That means beta 1 is equal to 0. No beta 1 is there. Only beta 2 component is here. So, such type of uh, regression model is termed as regression through the origin or regression without intercept term, interceptless model. Many, many terms are there to represent such regression models. So, this is the uh, population regression function of interceptless model. Let us give this equation as equation one. Some, in, uh, some examples, we can uh, take some instances where the uh, intercepted term is zero. Like Milton Friedman's permanent income hypothesis. Permanent income hypothesis proposed by Milton Friedman states that permanent consumption is proportional to permanent income. Cost, an uh, 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 cost analysis theory or it postulates that variable cost of production is proportional to output. So, such type of uh, different examples can be uh, found out when we are dealing with the uh, interceptless model where the intercepted term is 0. Okay. Now, how can we estimate this type of interceptless model? How can we estimate the model with intercepted term or beta 1 term is 0? So, this is our uh, population regression function beta 2 xi plus ui. This is first equation 1. Now, let us uh, take the sample regression function. This is the population regression function. Now, let us take sample regression function as yi is equal to beta 2 hat xi plus ui hat. Let it be equation number 2. Okay, so we have to estimate uh, regression through origin model. So, uh, we can apply the ordinary least square method to this equation. So, uh, in order to find out the beta 2 hat, we, we have to estimate beta 2 hat here. No beta 1 hat is there. So, we need not uh, worry about beta 1 hat. Only beta 2 hat is present in this type of regression through origin model. So, uh, we can find out the beta 2 hat using the ordinary least square method. So, uh, first we want to minimize sigma, minimize sigma ui hat square. We have to find out beta 2 hat. So, for that we have to find minimize ui hat square that is equal to sigma yi minus beta 2 hat xi all square. We uh, took ui hat is equal to yi minus beta 2 hat xi taking sigma and square on both sides. Now, uh, with respect to beta 2 hat, we have to minimize sigma ui hat square. So, differentiating this equation 3 with respect to beta 2 hat, dou sigma ui hat square with respect to dou beta 2 hat is equal to 
2 into sigma yi minus beta 2 hat xi into minus xi. Hope you got this. 2 into this component into beta 2 hat xi. Beta 2 hat the variable of beta 2 hat is minus xi. So this equation uh, let us represent this equation as equation 4. Now let us uh, uh, set this equation 4 is equal to 0 implies 2 sigma yi minus beta 2 hat xi into minus xi equal to 0. So uh, we set this equation as it is equal to 0. So this can be sigma yi minus beta 2 hat xi into xi because minus 2 it cannot be equal to 0 so we can just ignore that this is equal to 0 or sigma we can uh, add xi into the bracket sigma xi yi minus beta 2 hat sigma xi square equal to 0 or beta 2 hat sigma xi square is equal to sigma xi yi we have just make this equation to or this component to go to the other side from this we can find the value of beta 2 hat equal to sigma xi yi divided by sigma xi square so we have estimated the value for beta 2 hat as sigma xi yi divided by sigma xi square let us represent this equation as equation 5 now we can substitute the value of uh, yi with the prf that is our first equation uh, population regression function yi equal to beta 2 xi plus ui this was the first equation now let us substitute this equation of yi into the value of beta 2 hat sigma xi into yi can be substituted with beta 2 xi plus ui divided by sigma xi square ok or this can be written as beta 2 sigma xi square divided by sigma xi square we are just opening the bracket and dividing the two components so beta 2 sigma xi square sigma xi is added into the bracket plus sigma xi ui divided by sigma xi square we are just splitting the terms so this sigma xi square and this sigma xi square will be cancelled this will be equal to beta 2 plus sigma xi ui divided by sigma xi square now we know that uh, expectation of beta 2 hat is equal to beta 2 therefore we can write expectation of beta 2 hat minus beta 2 the all square is equal to expectation of sigma xi ui divided by sigma xi square since here we have found that beta 2 hat is equal to beta 2 plus sigma xi ui from here beta 2 hat minus beta 2 is equal to sigma xi ui divided by sigma xi square now we are taking expectation and squaring both sides that means expectation of beta 2 hat minus beta 2 all square is equal to expectation of xi ui by sigma xi square the all square we have taken expectation on both sides and square on both sides so let it be equation 6 now expanding the right hand side of the equation and noting that the xi are non stochastic as well as error term ui are homo scholastic as well as uncorrelated so we are we know the properties or assumptions with respect to these xi and ui xi is non stochastic ui is homo scholastic as well as that it is uncorrelated now we can obtain the variance value variance of beta 2 hat is equal to expectation of 
beta 2 hat minus beta 2 the whole square that is equal to sigma square by sigma xi square. Let it be equation 7. So, expectation of beta 2 hat minus beta 2 the whole square is nothing but variance value. So, variance value can be sigma square by sigma xi square. Where this sigma square, sigma square is nothing but this sigma square can be estimated as sigma hat square which is equal to sigma ui hat square divided by n minus 1 this is the value for sigma hat square and we have to substitute it here so this is the variance of beta 2 hat so this is the case of interceptless model we are dealing with the interceptless model that is without the intercept term or the intercept term is 0 so, in this case of interceptless model, we can write uh, or we can find the um, estimate the value of beta 2 hat as well as we can find the variance of beta 2 hat. Now, it is interesting to compare the formulas with uh, formulas of interceptless model as well as intercept with intercept. That is the usual two variable model. So, with respect to interceptless model, with respect to interceptless model, we found beta 2, okay, okay, interceptless model beta 2 hat is equal to sigma xi yi divided by sigma xi square. Now, with the intercept model, that is the usual two variable regression model we have already estimated in the previous classes. Beta 2 hat is equal to sigma small letter xi yi by sigma xi square. That is first case. That is estimation of beta 2 hat. Here, capital xi yi by xi square. That means it is not mean deviation form. Uh, in intercept model, with intercept, that is beta 1 is present. This is the estimated value of beta 2 hat. Now considering the variance of beta 2 hat, just before we found the variance of beta 2 hat in the interceptless model as sigma square by sigma xi square. In case of intercept model, model with intercepted term, sorry this is sigma capital xi square which we have already just before we have developed this look this is the variance value now in the previous case with intercept model variance of beta 2 hat is equal to sigma square by sigma small letter xi square that is but from the deviation form and uh, one more comparison that is sigma hat square in order to find out the uh, this estimate the sigma value sigma hat square is equal to sigma ui hat square by n minus 1 degrees of freedom in the this model interceptless model sigma hat square equal to sigma ui hat square by n minus 2 degrees of freedom when there is intercept term here interceptless model means only one parameter beta 2 hat is there therefore n minus 1 is the degrees of freedom here beta 1 hat is present so beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat are there so n minus 2 is the degrees of freedom so this is the comparison between regression model with intercepted term and without intercept term so uh, the difference between the two sets of formulas uh, should be obvious so in the model with intercepted term absent we use row sum of squares and cross product but in the intercept present model model with intercept term we use adjusted sum of square and cross products uh, also with respect to degrees of freedom in the intercept plus model there is only n minus 1 degrees of freedom intercept is present it means there is n minus 2 degrees of freedom 
okay so this type of uh, regression through origin model or zero intercept model so model um, in many occasions this type of uh, interceptless model is uh, applicable or appropriate and there are some features for this zero intercept model first is sigma ui hat which is always zero for the intercept model uh, this need not be zero need not be zero so in the uh, usual two variable linear regression model uh, we know that sigma ui hat is equal to zero but in intercept less model it is not necessary that sigma ui hat should be equal to zero that means sigma ui hat need not be zero for regression through origin model so that is uh, one uh, property of uh, or one feature of this um, intercept less model or regression uh, through origin model so uh, the second feature of uh, this intercept less model is that the coefficient of determination that is the r square value which is usually non negative non negative in case of usual two variable linear regression model with intercepted term in that case it is a non negative but this r square value can turn out to be neg negative in this interceptless model so r square value can be negative also it is not necessary that it should be a non negative value in some case this r square value can also be a negative value in intercept less model uh, so the conventionally computed r square may not be appropriate for this intercept less model in some occasions so these are the two features of um, regression through origin model thank you